Hey guys, welcome back to the Party Shakers YouTube channel. My name is Brenda and today we are making paloma and a cantarito. So the cantarito is like the distant cousin of paloma. So <laughs> um, today we're going to do a tutorial on buffalo. So I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up and let's get started. First, we're going to start with the paloma and with the paloma, we're going to start with our tequila. We're gonna do two ounces of tequila. I'm gonna gently pour this because my pour straws don't fit in the lid and I took off the cap thing. So, gently pouring. Ooh. Okay. Now we're going to do half an ounce of lime juice. Just to add some flavor. And then I'm gonna grab a fresh grapefruit. I'm going to cut it in half. And then I'm gonna cut the half in half. <laughs> and I'm gonna squeeze this half in here. But first, I'm gonna use this in case there's any seeds. You don't want any seeds in your cocktail. Oh! <laughs> Oops! <laughs> and then shake. sweeten it as well by adding um, simple syrup but I'm not gonna add simple syrup in here strain it and then whatever you have left over fill it with some club soda give it a little swirl with a straw and then to garnish a slice of grapefruit. You can also add a salt rim. I just decided not to. And there you have it, your paloma. Now we're going to make the cantarito. So first of all, we're going to grab our shaker glass and we are going to do, where's my tequila? I oh, hear it. Oops. We're gonna... <laughs> We're gonna do one ounce and a half. So it's half less than the paloma. <laughs> and now we're going to squeeze our grapefruit in here. I'm using half of the half that I cut, half of the hair. Now I'm going to use a lemon. You need about half an ounce of lime juice. So I'm just gonna, I mean lemon juice. So I'm just gonna do a small squeeze and then half an ounce of lime juice. You also need half an ounce of orange juice. Add some ice and then shake. Now, before pouring your 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 cocktail into your your glass, I'm going to prepare my glass with a salt rim. I'm going to do half a salt rim. This is optional. You guys, if you don't like salt, you don't have to do that. Okay. Add your cocktail into your cocktail glass. And then add your club soda. To garnish, I'm going to use a grapefruit on the side. And I'm also going to use a lemon wheel to garnish. Put it right there. And now stir it a little bit. Get that soda water mixed in. And then you have it, your cantarito. Now it's 
it's time to taste. This is the paloma. Just really good. Wow, grapefruit has a strong flavor. I love it. It's it's really good. You could also instead of replacing, um, if you want to replace the process of squeezing um, fresh grapefruit and adding club soda, you can always get um, grapefruit soda like Squirt and just add your tequila, and then you have a simple, quick and ready cocktail. It's really good. Okay. Whoa, did you guys see that? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. Okay, now I'm going to have this. I'm gonna drink it with the salt. Mmm, this one's really good. This one has more of a, more of a, you can taste the other citrus flavors which I really love. It tastes very refreshing, and I love the salt with it. Mm. This is a must-have with the salt. I love it. Okay, this one wins. I like this one better. Okay, there you have it, guys. The Paloma and the Cantarito. Okay, guys, now that I've already tried it. The Paloma here. To give you my honest opinion, it's good. I think it's good, but it's not as flavorful as the Cantarito. <laughs> Cantarito has lemon, it has lime, it has the grapefruit, it has the salt rim, and the flavors are just really good combined. It's just more flavorful than the Paloma. And the Paloma, um, I mean, it's a good cocktail if you only have grapefruit and you have tequila in your house and some club soda. It's a good cocktail to have as a refreshing one during the summer or if you just want to cool down and relax. Make yourself a paloma. <laughs> but if you have your lemon and lime, I definitely recommend making this one because it's so much better. <laughs> but there you have it. The paloma... No. <laughs> the paloma and the cantarito. Okay, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Leave a comment down below what you think of this um, of this tutorial if you make it at home. You know, let us know how it came, how it turned out. Uh, we're also gonna leave the, the ingredients and the details down below. Just click on the link and then you'll be able to see all the ingredients we used and how much we use and how to do it. So, see you next time.